In the news this week, a new poll shows almost half of Scots oppose the name person scheme. The Liberal Democrats back the legalisation of cannabis and a Christian campaigner is honoured by the Royal Mail. Hello and welcome to this week's news bulletin from the Christian Institute. A new poll has revealed that almost half of Scots are against the controversial named person scheme. The YouGov poll, commissioned by The Times, found that 48% of Scots oppose the scheme, with 26% strongly opposed to it. In contrast, only 32% of the 1,000 people asked were in support, with just 6% of people strongly in support. The figures also showed that 35% of SNP supporters are against the scheme, while just 44% back it. Opposition was strongest amongst Labour and Conservative voters. Responding to the figures, the Christian Institute's Head of Communications, Kieran Kelly, said the Scottish Government cannot ignore the findings. This is really pretty poor legislation. Uh, we know that. Uh, this poll shows clearly that the public know that. Everybody seems to uh, recognise that, apart from the Scottish Government. Uh, barely a third of Scots say that they have any support for this scheme. Uh, it's nearly a half that are opposed to it and 26% uh, who are strongly opposed to it. The government needs to wake up and, and recognise that public opinion is against them. It's time for them to rethink this and scrap the scheme altogether. The Liberal Democrat Party is officially backing the legalisation of cannabis following a vote at its spring conference in York. Party members voted overwhelmingly for a controversial new policy which could see cannabis sold over the counter. Under the policy, shops would be allowed to sell cannabis to over 18s in plain packaging with health warnings, much like tobacco. People would also be allowed to grow cannabis plants at home for personal use. Party leader Tim Farron claimed that cannabis prohibition has failed and said it is now time to legalise it and tax its sale. The Home Office has said it has no plans to change the law, arguing that there is clear scientific and medical evidence that cannabis is a harmful drug which can damage people's mental and physical health. The suffering of Muslim women from religiously sanctioned discrimination is an affront to our hard-fought freedoms, MPs and peers have told the government. Almost 50 parliamentarians signed a letter calling on the government to back the principles of a bill which seeks to curb such problems. Baroness Cox, a patron of the Christian Institute, has introduced the Arbitration Bill, which is being considered in Parliament. MPs and peers from parties including Labour, the Conservatives and the Liberal Democrats said many women in Britain are not experiencing the legal rights to which they are entitled. The bill cannot solve all of the complex and sensitive issues involved, but it does insist that the rights of all women and the rule of law are upheld. And finally, Prominent Christian campaigner Josephine Butler has been honoured by the Royal Mail by featuring her in its new stamp collection. She is included in a set of six stamps marking some of the UK's greatest humanitarians. During the 19th century, Butler campaigned for women's rights and played an important role in raising the age of consent from 13 to 16 for girls. Her campaign led to the Criminal Law Amendment Act of 1885, which set out a number of protections for children. Commenting on the life of Josephine Butler, Head of Communications at the Christian Institute, Kieran Kelly, commended her moral conviction. Josephine and her fellow campaigners saw the law on the age of consent as a vital protection, needed to shield children from harm. Sadly today, some groups seek to push a harmful agenda that says sexual activity between children is perfectly acceptable. Today, more than ever, we need leaders of Josephine Butler's calibre and moral conviction to fight ongoing injustice and exploitation. Well, that's all for this week. For regular updates and more information on all of our stories, plus much more, visit our website at christian.org.uk. Until next time, goodbye.